All right, this one might be a little bit weird for some of you. Welcome to Shadow Alley on this channel. We talk about horror movies and silicone masks and other creepy things. So if you're into that sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe and stick around. Okay, so I did a video on this channel uh, not too long ago about a really cheap silicone mask that I found on Amazon. And I was actually kind of surprised how well the video did. It seems like a lot of people want a cheaper alternative to the really expensive, really, in my opinion, awesome masks that I buy that are usually in the $600 to $1,200 range. I think people are looking for other masks that maybe are much cheaper. And Amazon has a few on there that are cheaper, but are they worth it? We are going to test another cheap silicone mask that I found on Amazon today. We're gonna check it out. And this one is a female silicone mask. So let's check it out and see if it's worth it. Okay, this is why I said this one might get a little bit weird because I'm essentially buying a mask to make myself look like a woman. I usually buy masks specifically to be used in films and I will probably actually use this as like a fake skin to rip off of someone's face or maybe if I have to rip off an ear or rip off someone's hair in a short film. What's wrong with you? So for me, it'll still get used. Whatever you're using it for, um, is it worth it to pay $185 for one of these online? We are going to check it out right now. So the other mask that I bought on Amazon, the cheap silicone mask, it's actually right here, was by a company called Ewin, I believe it was, and this was William from Ewin. So I knew that they actually had silicone masks and I knew it wasn't like a, you know, fake, latex knockoff. I knew that I would at least get a silicone mask. So I went with the exact same company again for their female fit silicone mask. And it looks like similar packaging. A big, huge Ziploc bag. And again, <laughs> a weird mask on the inside to help keep its shape, just like the other one. That might be worth it alone for some of you. That's kind of cool. Okay, again, it's made of the same material. It looks like actual food grade silicone. Uh, the seam is pretty hideous. You know what, let me put this on a head form so that it's a little bit easier to show. Like that, yeah. Might be a little bit easier to see now. Okay, the seam down the center is pretty ugly. It really looks like a seam they don't even try to hide. Since they're so cheap, they're probably mass produced and they don't take a ton of care on things like that. So you will have a hideous seam, but if you're gonna wear something like this, I'm assuming you might have a wig on as well, which will cover that up. And the eyebrows themselves look hand punched. So there's actual real hair on the eyebrows. That's kind of cool. Lips are really thick. Thickness on the lips is pretty much the same thickness as the rest of the mask. On a lot of silicone masks, the, the silicone around the lips will be really, really super thin so that it sticks to your lips and moves really realistically. Um, I don't feel like this is going to do that. There are no eyelashes in it. And the paint job is very, very simple. It is all one color, no veining, no blotching, no speckles like in real human skin. It is pretty much just one solid color. So it's not the most realistic thing, but I don't think it would work as a female character in a movie. If let's say you only had male actors and one of them needed to be a female for your movie, I don't think putting on a mask like this is going to be believable whatsoever. But like I said, if you're using it for any other reason, just for fun, just to make yourself look like a woman, or if you were using it as like a prosthetic, like this was the skin that the monster tore off to show a gross face underneath, something like this might work and it might be a better option. Here's the big test. Let's put it on and see how it looks in some lighting to see if it actually looks like a believable human character. So uh, let's go do that now. So you can kind of see that the fit isn't very great. It's really difficult to get it to suction kind of to your lips so that it moves realistically with your mouth. My mouth keeps slipping out of the lip portion and it doesn't quite fit right on the jaw and mouth area. And the eyes are pretty tough. They're really thick. They don't really sit back far enough in the eye socket. You can't actually see my eyelashes or anything poking out. It really does look like a mask in the eyes. It's really tough to pass this off as an actual female only 145 bucks, which isn't crazy expensive for a silicone mask, but in my humble opinion, even using this as a prosthetic to rip off an actor's face or something, I, I feel like there's probably cheaper and better ways to do it. This one isn't that great, but let's look at it with a wig and with some sunglasses and take a look that way. 
So even with this, if you had just a static shot of someone not really talking, not really moving, and they had a wig on and they had glasses, I mean, maybe this could work. But as soon as you start talking or as soon as you remove the glasses, you're definitely going to be able to tell that it's a mask. But if for some reason your actor or actress isn't moving and this is okay with you, then go for it. But for me, I don't even know if it's worth the price, but this is what you get if you buy this mask. This is what it's going to look like. You could also probably add a little bit of makeup or fake lashes for yourself some lipstick, whatever, to spruce this up a little bit, but in my opinion, it, it's just not quite believable. So there you go, female silicone mask from Uwin. It was only $145.99, so under $150, you can have a silicone half mask of a female. Um, if you want to add the other things, they're pretty cheap. I don't remember what the wig was. I think it was maybe 19 bucks or something like that, and I found these pair of glasses in a drawer. But if you add things like that to it, it might be a little bit more believable. But for me, I'm not that impressed with the quality of a $150 mask. Even the male versions of these, the real cheap ones, are a little bit more believable and fit better. It's a shame because I think there is a market for female silicone masks. There are tons of realistic men masks. There are none that I can really see of realistic female masks, and I'm not sure why. So if you're thinking of getting a female silicone mask, cheap on Amazon for 145 bucks. You can follow the links in the description. I'll show you where I bought this exact one. But for me, it's a pass. I'm gonna stick to uh, the pros and stop buying them off of Amazon. Unless you guys wanna see more videos like this, then let me know, maybe I'll do more. So there you go, thank you for watching. And please do all those things you're supposed to do to help support a channel, like like and comment and share and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. What's